were the Impressionists, as they posed in their somber bourgeois suits for this unique painting by Fantin Latour. They hardly seemed the dangerous band of revolutionaries that were going to tear down the walls of the French Academy and official art. What's more, they all had little in common. Renoir's father was a humble tailor. Manet was middle class and educated. Monet's father ran a small shop in Le Havre. Basile's family was wealthy and hailed from the south. There was no unifying theory or doctrine that bound them together. They didn't even have a name until a critic, Louis Leroy, saw a canvas by Monet entitled Impression Sunrise and called them the Impressionists. But what bound them together and made them unique was their eye and their zest for the world around them rather than for the stuffy clichés of official art. When Monet walked the streets and parks of Paris, he saw a new bright light and shadows filled with color. Manet developed a realism that infused new relevance in the tradition of the old masters. Degas made a link between art and the way the camera caught the hectic pace of modern life. Morisot absorbed the plein air of Monet and used it to capture the intimate light of her sitters. Renoir took his palette as a porcelain painter and made the working girls of Paris shine like goddesses. In their footsteps came countless others. Seurat, who merged art with physics and produced a new luminosity with tiny dots of complementary colors. Toulouse-Lautrec, who inspired by the pastels of Degas, captured the pleasures and sadness of Paris nightlife and Van Gogh, who used the new color palette of the Impressionists to express the inner tempest of his feelings. They were but a group of bourgeois painters, not worth a second glance on the busy streets of the French Belle Epoque, but by the end of the 19th century, they had forever changed the world of art.